So good morning, everybody. To, no, uh, this morning, I'm going to present this research that is being carried out actually in collaboration with other co-authors who are Rudy Nagam from the University of Arkansas, uh, Kim Ha, and Shadi Atala. So uh, as previous presentation showed us, actually, uh, demand for craft beer is increasingly growing and more and more researchers are interested in defining which are the characteristics, the attributes, which consumer value the most in craft beer. So when we are talking about attributes, uh, choice experiments are one of those methods that are mostly implied in marketing and applied economics in order to estimate, in order to elicit marginal preferences, marginal willingness to pay for um, products attributes. But so, but so, like the intent is to uh, use choice experiment in a way that we have most reliable and most accurate willingness to pay estimation. But there is a big, uh, an, a big issue in choice experiment that is attribute non-attendance behavior. What is this? Attribute non-attendance is actually a salient heuristic in choice behavior that takes into account that actually people do not attend all the attributes when they make the choices in a product, but they might attend just few, uh, some of them. And lots of studies have shown that actually attribute non-attendance behavior does affect marginal willingness to pay estimates and model performances. So for this reason, more and more research are trying to understand which are the, re the behavioral reasoning behind the attribute attendance behavior. So for example, some studies show that people might ignore more the attributes they are less interested to. Or another important thing uh, factor to take into consideration is cognitive effort. How much cognitive effort we spend to make a choice. So previous studies showed, observed that uh, generally people choose, like tend to attend attributes which are more familiar with, or that attribute non-attendance sometimes is related to make the choice easier. So my, we might not attend, we might not look at all the attributes of the product, because it takes effort, cognitive effort, to make these drugs. And actually, in cognitive, like, psychologists tell us that cognitive capacity is a limited resource. And when we are under cognitive load, when we use a lot of our mental resources, we tend to make simpler choices. Uh, we see, uh, try to use less effort decision-making processes. So our question in this research is, so does cognitive, uh, temporary cognitive resource depletion affect marginal willingness to pay estimate? Does it affect, exacerbate uh, attribute non-attendance behavior? So what we did, we performed a choice experiment on Indiana craft beer consumers. Um, and on an, an, it was an online experiment, and we used different treatments in order to elicit it, to, in order to induce uh, temporary cognitive uh, resource depletion. So this is, I go fast, these are the attributes, I'm sorry for <laughs> going fast on this, but these are the attributes we try to, we use in our choice experiment in order to understand how people um, uh, evaluate the attribu these attributes on craft beer. So, brewing location, production location of hops, so Elizabeth, <laughs> and production method of ingredients, organic and not, and price. Then, all these attributes and attributes level, uh, we used a Bayesian deficient design in order to allocate all these attributes and attributes level in a set of 44 choice tests which were divided in three blocks of eight choice each. What does it mean? That each respondent saw a choice, eight choices like this, so were asked to make eight choices that, like this, this tra trade-off. And then, after each choice test, we asked the famous attribute non-attendance question. That means we asked, so which of the attributes did you ignore? Or if you ignore any. Well, what we did, what did we do to induce cognitive capacity depletion? So we use the Stroop test method. Now I make you a question. 
please tell me which color this word is printed? <coughs> the, the answer is yellow. I mean, this is... <coughs> Damn it! Seems or not, I swear it's yellow. <laughs> I swear it's yellow. But anyway, <laughs> I should have changed something. Anyway, uh, when we are asked which color the image, the word is printed, we use a lot of, we use cognitive research. We, it's a cognitive effort for us because spontaneously we read orange. This is spontaneously we read the, um, the meaning of the word. Hmm? So the treatments, we use three treatments. The first treatment was the control treatment where before the choice experiment, no cognitive effort tasks were uh, proposed to the, to the respondents. Then we use the true stupid test treatment where before the choice experiment, we made 40 questions where we asked people to indicate which color the word was printed. And then we did a third treatment as a manipulation check where that is usually used in this kind of test in psychology where we did, before the choice experiment, a 40 question where we asked people to indicate the meaning of the word. Hmm? And actually people seem like that they need way more time to answer these kind of questions and made more, way more mistakes. Econometric analysis, go fast. We use random parameter logic model uh, with error component and we restricted the coefficient to zero when we, uh, in the case of attributes that people stated they had in your. And finally, from this, we calculated our marginal willingness to pay. So first of all, simple statistics, actually, in the Stroop test treatment, is the treatment where people stated to have in your the list of the attribute. So this is not cons <laughs> this is not consistent with our hypothesis. And when we go on the models estimate, we see that there are differences in model, like in parameter significance across the treatment and across also the models, non accounting for how uh, attribute on an attendance behavior and models accounting for it, uh, attribute attendance behavior, except in three cases. The price attribute brewed in Indiana attribute and hopes produced in the US. When we go to look at the individual margin and willingness to pay, we see that there are differences across all treatments ex except in the case of the uh, brewing in Indiana attributes between the Stroop test and non Stroop test treatment, and in the case of the hopes in the US attribute. Again. So, in conclusion, we say we think that cognitive effort should be taken into account, and so cognitive load should be taken into account when we do our surveys. Um, but our results do not. Uh, uh, confirm our hypothesis and maybe that actually cognitive load exacerbate uh, attribute on attendance behavior. But we think that maybe having asked for each question to the people which attributes did you ignore, they make the easier uh, 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 answer. I did, not, uh, I did not attend any of them. So maybe this is the reason. Anyway, another important factor is that actually the nature of the attribute does mean, does, does, it's very important. And then these are just preliminary results and we want to go further using like inferred attribute on attendance models where actually we could validate what this, the, the people stated they have in your or not. And so, thank you.